Hi, my name is Laura Minero, and my colleagues Dr. Carmen Valdez, Kevin Wagner, and I want to talk to you about our family process article titled Emotional Reactions and Coping of Mexican Mixed Status Immigrant Families in Anticipation of the 2016 Presidential Election. The U.S. Presidential Election of 2016 was the focus of much anticipation and speculation, particularly for Latinx immigrants across the United States. Using a multiple case study method, our primary goal was to describe how immigrant families, especially Mexican adults and their pre-adolescent and adolescent children or grandchildren, personally and collectively reacted emotionally to the events that led up to the 2016 presidential election. We also wanted to know how they managed and coped with their emotions and how their emotional reactions may have changed over time, especially since we were able to interview them both in May 2016 and in November 2016, on the day and days prior to the election. So we actually had two time points to look at through this study. Initially, participants expressed concern and fear about the anti-immigrant rhetoric by the conservative political movement but largely felt reassured that such rhetoric would not prevail. It was noted that families who had no opportunity for fixing their status were more fearful than the one family who was in the process of changing their status through a U visa petition. However, in the days immediately preceding the election, in November 2016, a notable change seemed apparent among all participants regardless of immigration status. Participants expressed having intense emotions ranging from fear, angst to disbelief, anger, and denial. They attempted to manage these feelings through external actions, like being involved in their community, or even being involved in activism, and through internal actions, like communicating with their family and also using other cognitive strategies. Older adolescents had a better understanding of the implications of the election for their family than younger youth did. Even youth who were born in the U.S. and hence were U.S. citizens reported negative feelings related to the anti-immigrant rhetoric espoused by then-candidate Trump. Caregivers stressed the importance of family communication, yet many youth felt dissatisfied with these conversations, wishing that they were more deliberate ongoing and youth directed. Our article provides explanations for why this may have occurred. Considering that we are in a year of another upcoming presidential election, many have argued that even more is at stake in this presidential election for immigrants such as those portrayed in this study. Findings from the study offer key considerations for family practitioners interested in working with immigrant families under the current socio-political climate. These include trauma-informed approaches and taking into consideration the ecological and political climate that impact all family members. Moreover, practitioners should explore children's perceived threats to their well-being and to their most important attachments, their caretakers. In our study, immigration status and opportunity to adjust such status played a central role in the experience of mixed status families leading up to the election our study findings suggest that immigration policies that protect the whole family are crucial to the well-being of citizen youth. Please read our article for more information and implications for practice. We would love to hear from you, so we invite you to get in contact with us to discuss our article and also to provide us with any feedback. You can get in contact with us by emailing Dr. Carmen Valdez at crvaldez at u texas.edu. Again, that's crvaldez at utexas.edu. Thank you for your interest.